channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Tamala. If you like the video and you like what you see, then be sure to stick around and subscribe for new videos. We would love to have y'all join a part of our little family and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing my fall essential with y'all and today's video is also in collaboration with one of my really good friends here on YouTube, Victoria from the channel Victoria Fox. So y'all be sure to check her video out. She's going to be sharing her fall essentials as well and I will be linking that above and also down below in the description box. And if you are coming over from Victoria's channel, I just thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it so firstly how do we like the background this was kind of on accident this was more of I need to film this video and the top of my desk is like trash like been working hard like there's papers everywhere stuff box there's just too much I was like hey where else can I film and I kind of said chair here set up some lights and I'm like I might hate it like do you guys like this comment down below do you guys like I don't know I might hate it but we're gonna roll right into this video with beauty let's start with some lippies I was trying to decide which beauty I want to show you guys so I am into right now more of a glossy lips than I am for matte lips I know matte lips are where it's at for fall but I just if I wear a matte lip I usually put chapstick under and on top of it or I put clear lip gloss on it anyway so it was kind of just kind of productive for me but I do still have them wear them I just layer other things with it as well but two that I have been loving right now and I think are perfect for fall are the NYX Butter Glosses and I have the shades Praline and Ginger Snap. Praline is what I have on my lips now and to me, I'm trying to get a little closer. It's just kind of like a my lips but better kind of a color but maybe if your lips are a little lighter than mine, it would give it that more of a mauve kick because it is, let me open it. Oh, got it all over myself. It, it, that's stupid, you can't see that. It's the color of the thing. It is more of like a like a mauve color, but it's just kind of my lip color. But if you have lighter lips, then it'll be this mauve color. Does that make sense? And then I have Ginger Snap, which I feel like is like this shade, but like a little bit darker. It's kind of like it looks a little purpley on here, but I would say it comes off more um, like a deep, deep mauve in my opinion. But these are really good. They're really inexpensive. I tend to pick them up from Amazon because they're a little bit cheaper than what you can find them at um, a Target and Ulta. And then next is an eyeshadow. This is the Stila, I think it's the Stay All Day. Where's the name of it? Oh, nope, it's the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I picked this up on Prime Day because I saw my favorite blogger in the world. You guys know I talk about her like every video, but Emily from the um, blog, Everything Emily in. And I think this is such a pretty color, especially going into fall, because it's just like that really pretty rose goldy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, look at that. Is that not, oh, that is freaking stunning. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of my hand now because this stuff sticks. Like it like lasts, which is my thing. That was like probably one of the first glitter eyeshadows that I've ever tried because I always thought they would roll and move around all day, but they really don't. Once you put that one on, it's kind of like set it and forget it. Like it's not gonna move, it doesn't really crease on me. I don't have that issue. So I really like the rose gold color going into fall, but they do have like more of a true gold and I think they have like a deeper, almost like a red tone. They have several different colors. I'll link it down below in the description box along with everything else that I talk about, but it does come in other colors, but I just, I like glitter eyeshadow in general, but I feel like especially for like a good fall look, you get like a little, a deep little rose gold or gold or red going on. Very cute. Then at last for beauty is my favorite eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, it is like, beat up and has been through it's been through a lot with me this is the morph this is even like the old morphe packaging that's how you know this has been through some things with me this is the morphe 35o palette and i think i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes okay something like i feel like my makeup routine is a good mix of like drugstore and high-end but when it comes which this i would not I wouldn't consider it a drugstore because you can't buy it at Walmart, but I wouldn't consider it high end because it's like 20 bucks, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like in the middle there, but I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Like that's something that I like to kind of invest a little bit more money in, me personally with my makeup. And if I had to pick one, I didn't want to show you guys like seven different eyeshadow palettes. If you want to know, I'll tell you all the other ones, but I didn't want to like throw all these eyeshadow palettes at you. If like, if you want one, if you need one good eyeshadow palette for fall, is this one, I know Morphe's very controversial, they're paying the influencers, whatever, whatever. It's like, some people like it, some people hate it. I have not had any issues with Morphe. I actually, a lot of my favorite stuff is from Morphe, but let me stop labbing and show you the actual palette on the inside. Which again, she has been through some things with me, so she's a little beat up. I need to get another one, because I lost my favorite shade. Where is it? This one right here? That is, this is like completely empty, and that was my favorite transition shade. But as you can see, it has those really pretty warm tone, warm, that's a weird word. Really pretty warm tones that are just like perfect for fall. This is what I have on my eyes today. I have 
this color in the crease this color um on the outer edge and then this color like on my lid so which is like almost like my everyday look my everyday look is more of like a fall like a warm tone kind of a look but if you're into like the warm tones of fall y'all this is perfect and it's like i think it's 20 21 to 23 dollars i don't know plus i'm pretty sure you can use like the coupons when they come up with the ones that are the ones that are is this prestige this is not prestige no i think you can use like the regular like five off ten or like whatever coupons ulta has with this and like i said super inexpensive if you're gonna get like one mega fall eyeshadow palette this one it will do all the things for you so next we're going to move on into some fashion one of my favorites has actually been this like a light wash camo sweater and i wish i had a link for you i know what kind of a fashion blogger am i but i got it from tj maxx so no link but i got it here in the last couple of weeks so you can probably still find it i went to like four different tj maxx's looking for it before i finally found it in my size so be on the lookout but the first thing that i have to share with you guys is this sherpa these which showing you my plus size fashion uh, or just like you know my fashion favorites i it, it was a hard time for me to pick i have found some good stuff this season y'all some good stuff like this stuff this is all a fashion to figure haul which I, this will video will go up on monday this should be up wednesday so be on the lookout for that but this sherpa is from amazon and it was only i think 26 or 27 dollars it is the best y'all it is so soft it is i was so surprised at the quality of this which i'll link that video up above and down below if you haven't seen it my amazon fall try on haul but it's amazing like oh god i don't know if you can tell but like the quality sis is there and for 26 dollars, it's like cheaper than the one you can find at nordstrom it's better quality than the one you can get at walmart it's just like the perfect mix of all of the things and it runs up to an extra extra large but if you watch that video i showed another one that went up to like a 5x so I have options for you sis but this is definitely a fall favorite for me and then this cardigan is another fashion favorite and i thought we could like kill two birds with one stone with this and say so cardigans a just first of all we love a good cardigan sis a cardigan with pockets a cardigan with detail like we love cardigans but not only do we love cardigans we love the camo trend is it just me is it just me i used to think it was not like i don't want to say stupid but i just didn't like it i was just like ah that's that's i'm not no but as you can see i have since changed my mind and i'm a little bit obsessed i feel like you can just like it's like leopard print we're gonna just like add a little something something like it's just add a little something something but i will link this down below this is from amazon as well but any type of cardigan this is a really cute like long line cardigan it's a little on the thinner side so it's perfect for going into fall with especially here where it's like 105 degrees not a fan but cardigans are always a staple for going into the fall as well as now this awesome camel print and along with that we love the leopard we love the leopard or do you not like comment down below do you love the leopard or do you hate the leopard do you think it's gaudy i just think animal prints were gaudy and now everything i own is leopard so i don't i don't know what i believe anymore these um i just have to show you the shoes i have pretty much anything walmart has ever came out with in leopard in my closet i have the flats of these i have the kimono i have the uh cardigan i have the tunic i have the tank like i have all of the leopard things that walmart sells so walmart has some awesome leopard options if you're into that but i really like these and i thought these were perfect to share for fall just because like I'm, like we're not really here at least let me i can only speak for like south georgia we're not in like booty season yet like your feet will sweat and like fall off like this is not booty season but i think like cute little slip-ons for these are perfect for just little casual outfits and the leopard print again just kind of brings like a little like i think leopard print is really cute in the fall i'm sure it's cute all year round but i'm really it's like really in for fall right now but slip-on shoes are perfect to like add a little something something to an outfit and these are super inexpensive these were like 17 or 18 dollars from walmart there'll be a link below but loving these and last but not least we have lifestyle and i feel like i have quite a few things in the lifestyle category but we're gonna start with some candles i got a bunch of candles i showed them in a vlog um they were having like a 10 dollar candle sale for it's like a select choice of their fall scent so i bought all of them um just to kind of try because I'm not I'm not a huge fall scent personally put it that way I'm not like a pumpkin 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 everything kind of a person a little bit pumpkin maybe a little bit I, I'm not you know I'm not a huge fan but I wanted to try some of their scents this one is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and it's really good and this one grew on me it took a minute but oh, so good um if you are not like a huge pumpkin person and you're not that into those scents I definitely recommend trying this one the notes if I can get it twisted around 
on it are Tahitian Vanilla Pumpkin Spice Homemade Marshmallow Drizzle Caramel with Essential Oils. So it's not like a super strong overwhelming pumpkin smell, which is like what I cannot get with. Like pumpkin, pumpkin, punch me in the face, pumpkin, like I cannot do. But this is like a really, like I haven't burned it yet obviously, so I don't, I can't really speak to like, you know, how the scent throw is and everything. But this right here, it's like, it's like cinnamon, like light, like baked bread a little bit. Like a little bit of pumpkin. I don't know. Really like this one. And then, which the packaging, I don't, is this just packaging from Bath and Body Works? I don't, you guys probably can't see that because of light, but it's dang adorable, y'all. Like, it's dang adorable. So there's that one. And then the second one, which is probably my first favorite, but I just had to show you a second, is the salted butterscotch. Me and Devin, like, died. It's so good. <sighs> this is the kind of candle you would burn to make people think you cook cooking something good, but you're not. Or when you buy something from like Publix and say you made it and put it on a plate and you burn this to kind of trick them, you know? Mm, I know, girl. I, I know. Um, the notes on this one are warm brown sugar, sweet cream, my fave, pinch of salt, melted butter with essential oils. I mean, she's basically making cookies. Like, this is like a, like, so dang good, y'all. If you like those, like, like baked kind of a scents like that, you would... You would love this. I can't stop smelling it. I'm gonna stop now. But again, the packaging on this one is really pretty as well. I love this year's packaging. Um, moving on from that, I feel like everything else I have is like oddly like bath themed, but I don't know. We're gonna go with it. So I take a lot of baths in the fall. I feel like not so much in the summertime, but especially in the fall when it's like chilly, trying to get warm, we take a lot of baths, you know? The first thing that I wanna put you guys on to, just your welcome in advance. Like thank, look, thank me later, sis. Like you're gonna be so excited. I've talked about this in several videos before. If you haven't seen it yet, bless you, because I'm here to <laughs> just I'm here to show you now. This is called the bottomless bath, okay? You get it on Amazon, it's like five or six bucks. You stick it on to again technical words the thing thing in the tub that drains the water out but you stick it with the hole up so it gives you like this much more space to have water but it still has this hole on the top so that you're theoretically you're not going to overflow your bathtub regardless you know if you're anything like me your biggest pet peeve is when you can't get your bathtub as full as you want to it starts sucking up the water it's just annoying especially that's like that's like you know curvy girl pops like i need a little extra water in the tub don't be sucking out all the water there's a little extra volume to me you know what i'm saying so this is like the best thing ever I'm getting five to six bucks on amazon i got it on prime day but it was like regular price i was just being a sucker and you just suction it on there and then you can take it off if you want to like if you have kids or something you don't want to risk it i don't you know whatever it's just suctions on and off but i love that and along with the bath theme since we're taking a lot of baths we love bubble baths sis, okay so two of my favorite ones well this is a bubble bath or they both say foaming bath they're bubble baths whatever this is from the equate brand from walmart this giant like what how many ounces this is this 64 ounces it's three bucks three bucks and this i think this is like warm milk and honey or something i don't know yeah milk and honey this one smells really good that smells delicious but they also have a blue one i think it's blue ocean blue waves breezy ocean some kind of an ocean smell that one is probably my favorite this one was like my second favorite they didn't have the blue one last time i went to pick them up but like they're huge and this is like three bucks guys it's the best love a good bubble bath but then i also recently got i got this here in the past couple days this is the dr D dr can't talk Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This is the Shea Butter and Almond Oil flavor. It's apparently a new, or flavor scent. It's apparently a new scent. I got this from Target. This bottle, which is 34 ounces, was $4.99. But it smells really good. Like, I smell this. Usually the other scents, like, I swear I've never, I feel like they have some weird scents, but this one, oh, it smells heavenly, y'all. It just smells, like, super clean and, like, luscious and, like, you just want to take a bath in this. But... That is what this one looks like. Again, it is $4.99 at Target. If you're looking for bubble baths, either of those are just some of my favorite ones. And then moving on to, this has hair on it. Okay, let's not do that. Um, this is one of my favorite things to shower with because it moisturizes, um, especially, oh wait, that makes me think. I forgot when I'm, it rolled off my table. There was one more thing for the beauty category, but oh well. Well, I'll just tell you what it was because I don't know where it went. The next 
concealer, the color correcting one, the green one, because my face gets really red um, as it starts to get a little bit cooler. You guys know, I think I have rosacea. I've never really been diagnosed, but it's usually right here on my cheeks and around my nose. It gets pretty red and it gets kind of worse as it gets a little bit cooler outside. So I usually sometimes will add that just to kind of even out my skin color a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. There's that, forgot to include that in the beauty. But um, this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Y'all know I would not recommend you buy like $25 shower gel unless it was going to do something for you, okay? This does something for you. Like I said this when I was talking about it in my favorites video. I was like, dude, I hate to recommend. It's like, I don't know exactly how much. It, I think it's 20 to, it's like between 20 and $30, I think. I don't really know off the top of my head. But I was like, I hate to recommend this to you, but it's so good. Like, I can't not recommend it to you. It's amazing. Um, I have loved this. I got it in my FabFitFun box. But I will 110% be repurchasing. Like, 110%. It is, like, my favorite scent. It is so moisturizing. It doesn't dry out your skin at all. But let me also clarify by saying it's not a need, but it is a want. If you're looking for something to kind of splurge a little bit on that you will love, this is it. This is the smell. <sighs> the smell. It's so good. There's also the bum bum cream too, but if you're gonna buy one, I'd wrap this is the shower gel I would do before I bought the bum bum cream, but that's just me personally. It smells dang heavenly. So I definitely recommend this. It's just especially just because it's sulfate free. We love that. Just because I like this and I'm not a lotion person. Like I wear lotion, but it's very rare. So I would like a super moisturizing shower gel or body wash or whatever I'm using because I just don't, I just don't like to fiddle with it. It's just like an extra step and we don't, nobody likes extra steps. So when I can get something that's going to be super moisturizing and save me a step, we love that. So again, that's what that looks like. I'll link it down below. If you're looking to splurge on something, go for it. If you're not, it's not a life or death situation. Don't beat yourself up about it, but put it on your wish list for like Christmas or something because it is amazing. Now that we're to the end of the video, I want to share something that's a little bit of a bonus with you guys. So my favorite drink right now of all time is the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. I, I order it a little bit differently because I do not like bitter coffee. And if you order regular, it's real bitter to me. I ain't a fan. So I get the pumpkin cream cold brew with light ice, four, I don't think about it, four pumps of caramel syrup and then extra heavy cream or just heavy cream. But you have to tell them you want it in your coffee and not in the foam or they put it in the foam, it gets real confusing. So I want heavy cream in the coffee. That's how I order it. And since that is my favorite drink right now, I just want to give away a little bit of a gift to you guys. So a $10 Starbucks gift card if you leave the little coffee emoji down in the comments below. Just a little bit of a secret giveaway for those of you guys who stuck around until the end of the video. But that is the end of my fall essentials, guys. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. And don't forget to head over to Victoria's channel and check out her video. Again, it'll be linked above and down below. And I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.